Good morning everyone, I hope you're well, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here my name is Seppi, I'm kind of whispering because my whole family is still asleep, but I am up and ready and on my, not on my way to work, but I'm going to go to work now, um, today is Thursday the 4th of November or 3rd of November, I've lost track of the days, but um, it's the first day of lockdown and um, I still have to go to work. I am a junior doctor in psychiatry, so I thought I'd continue my junior doctor vlog series for you guys and give you an insight of what it's like to work during the pandemic. I work in the community, I don't work in um, the main hospital right now, but I'm moving to the main hospital in less than a month, so you guys will get to see both aspects of that here on my vlog. If you guys are interested in seeing more of my like junior doctor life, then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it gives me an indication that you guys like these videos um, and don't forget to subscribe so that they come up my voice sounds so croaky I'm sorry also I thought I'd show you whilst I'm here lounge underwear sent me this pajama set and it's so cute look I don't know why I've tucked it in like a grandma also ignore the mess behind me but um this is what it looks like it's like teddy material you know I love it it's so comfy i keep rubbing it like that anyway let me get dressed and make a coffee and we'll be on our way so i've made myself a coffee and i've packed my lunch because usually i buy lunch um from the prep close by but i'm not sure if it's going to be open because of lockdown like even for takeaway so my mum made reme last night which is an iranian stew you guys will see that on her channel music and so i thought i would take that with me um, they put it in like a little takeaway box for me so I'm going to take that and let me quickly show you my outfit because it's got really cold now in London um, so so I'm wearing this green Parker jacket everything is from Zara on the top half by the way so this green Parker jacket is from Zara last year this blazer I got in the sale online at the start of the first lockdown um, and then this is a back black ribbed polo neck and then I'm wearing black fashion over trousers and black boots from Public Desire. Um, and I've got a hairband to tie my hair back. Um, so yeah, we are going off to work now. Let's go guys. So guys, it is currently 1.30 in the afternoon. I have done all of my morning work. So when we came in in the morning, if you guys watched my last video, you know we'd start the day with a meeting and I always have my notes prepped for the patients that we are about to see. Um, we are seeing all of our patients virtually right now because we are in a second lockdown here in England. So um, yeah, I saw a couple of patients virtually um, on the uh, computer. We set up meetings and we do our consultations like that. Um, and that went really well. Um, there was no technical glitches or anything today, which was perfect. Um, and now I've had my lunch. Um, so one thing that's kind of changed is before I would walk like two minutes down the road to Pret to buy lunch. Oh, I already said this, but I had to eat the food that my mum gave me, which was uh, which was daime. So yeah, I brought Iranian food into work, which is super interesting. Also, we have to wear masks all the time when there's other people around. This room is just me but as soon as i step out i'm gonna have this on full time i am about to go on a home visit so i'm gonna go on a home visit we do home visits to um, check up on our patients who can't come in and there's some things we can do on home visits for example taking bloods so i will show you guys what's in the toolkit of uh, a home visit um just briefly so we have apron we have some back cutainers tourniquet gloves um more vacutainers um we have blood bottles um different colors for different things um you guys can look that up if you're interested um so yeah that's really what i'm going to be doing now um obviously because we're in lockdown we do it in full ppe so i'm just gonna go now and do um my home visits and then i'm gonna come back here in the car with my mum. Mum, do you want to show yourself? Are you fixing your hair? No, my hair is fixed. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, so today is Saturday. It is two days after you guys saw me at work. And I thought I would bring you along to 
to the weekend because it's fair it's only fair if i show you let me take my glasses off so i can make eye contact but it's only fair if i show you my whole life and not just my life as a junior doctor because obviously i do do fashion blogging on instagram and i do make youtube videos like you guys know and today i'm shooting content for my instagram i don't usually do loads and loads of pictures in one day but the weather is really good today right mom yes like there's there's it's all sun yeah no drop of rain yeah so i aimed to get up quite early but i'm just really tired all the time these days i think it's probably the weather the weather makes me really tired so i woke up a bit late i think i woke up like 11 30 in the afternoon which is quite late um and i got dressed and ready what is weekend yeah i got dressed and ready i curled my hair and i sorted all my outfits and planned them for the photos and i've brought my lovely mum along and we're gonna I'm lucky yeah <laughs> I'm lucky and we've just been having like chats in the car we were talking about um mum what were we talking about Begu? we were talking about uh, corona mm -hmm. and uh, Seppi's new job mm -hmm. uh, she's working in uh, a and &E. it's not a &E, it's um the acute AAU like it's like the acute medical unit basically yes and because uh, my mum and June is in my house and she says she has to go and look for uh, apartments because yeah. uh, she feel uh, she um, she said I don't want to pass on uh, to Mom and John um, any um, just just uh, in case yeah and um, but it's better to be safe than sorry and she want to be very safe and yeah. She, and she said, I don't want to feel guilty. I want to be comfortable. I love my mom and June and I want to be comfortable. But the thing is, is mom and June doesn't live with us. She is just staying with us. Like she stays with us, like let's say for like one month periods, like in the year. Yes. Um, that's if we're lucky, because we have to beg her to stay. <laughs> um, but I start this job next month. And if Mum and John is still here, then I'm definitely gonna move out. And if Mum and John isn't here, then I still think I have to think about it because I'm living with my family. Um, but a lot of my friends who are living with their families are still going to work. So I think it's a big, big, big decision. And I'm being really, really honest here, talking about it on my YouTube. Another thing I was telling my mum is rent in London is so expensive. I didn't realize. Yes, it is. And like, expensive. there's certain places that I want to live. And she's like, oh yeah, but how much does it cost to rent? And I was like, X amount, Y amount. She's like, whoa, that's like almost your whole salary <laughs> on rent, <laughs> which is right. So this is all the adult life, guys, which I'm not used to, but, um, you know, it's decisions, it's important decisions I have to make. It depends to Sepia's situation. Yeah. Like, say hi to your followers who are here, mum. Hello, my followers. <laughs> I, say, say, I love all of you. And Thank say you hi very to much my followers who love you. And uh, hi, Sepia's followers. <laughs> <laughs> and I love all of you. You are so nice, so kind. My last, my last video had the nicest messages. Like, honestly, everyone was putting up so much positive energy and comments. And I've literally gone through and like read and hearted all of them because I love them. Yes. We yeah. read all of the comments. All of you, you are so nice. When I read your comments, I enjoy. Mm. Especially when you're writing from which country and which city. Oh, you don't know how much I get excited. Yeah, it's so fun because it shows you like how, how you can connect all over yes. the world through one website. Yes, <laughs> and when they say, for example, Masana, Korea, yeah. Oh, so she I said, said South oh my Korea. God. Someone was watching a channel from South Korea. South Korea, yeah. I said, oh my god, I've been to Korea as well. <laughs> Just I want to know where I am going. <laughs> Guys, I'm absolutely starving. As you can see, my outfit's changed because we took loads of pictures, but we're in a waitress right now, and I'm gonna get myself a sandwich. My mom wants to get some stuff, and yeah, that's the plan. I don't know what I want. I'll show you guys what I got. 
So guys, I'm back home and this is what I got from Waitrose. It is, oh it's the wrong way around. It is the Christmas sandwich, the turkey stuffing and bacon sandwich, which I'm so excited to have. And then I also got Dour. All my Iranians will know I love Dour. So this one's the Yekta one and it's fizzy. But oh my god, yesterday my family tried this one and they said it was disgusting. So stay away from it, apparently it tastes like vomit. Um, but this one is really nice. I've had it before. I really like it. So I'm gonna have some of this and a sandwich and I'm gonna sit on the TV and eat. So guys, I thought I'd actually sit down now that I've eaten and I'm not starving and I have the energy to talk. I thought I'd sit down and have a little bit of a heart to heart with you guys about the second lockdown that we have now in the UK. Um, so those of you who are not from the UK and you follow me, uh, we have gone into our second lockdown. We followed after France and Germany and um, a few other countries in Europe who decided on a second lockdown, which means that we can't go out. Um, there's no, we can't go out unless we are going to do like something essential and uh, unless our work is something that we can't do at home, then um, we can go out. But other than that, we have to stay at home. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I found the first lockdown difficult at all. And to be honest, I think I kind of enjoyed it even. And I think it came off the back of, I had to revise for exams anyway. So I was kind of like, oh, okay, everyone's at home. Um, and I think the whole world didn't really know what was going on. The whole world was going through it together. So it made the first lockdown a lot more easier. But the second lockdown, this one that's just started this week, is so much harder for me. Um, and that's because I think, A, the whole world isn't going through the same thing at the same time anymore. Like different countries have different lockdown rules. And even within the country, I think different people are, like, I have loads of friends who are in the honesty, like they left for D Dubai, like right before the airport's shut and this and that. So you see like, there are some people who are still kind of living their life pre-lockdown and there are some people abroad who are like in countries that aren't even in lockdown and so when you are in lockdown it can be really hard and the things that you appreciated when the lockdown was lifted have have disappeared too so for me like going to the gym was so therapeutic and good for me seeing my friends was so nice for me going out after work like that's just how I've always been like even after uni I would go out and I would go to eat um, with my friends and just go chill and not being able to do that is really really hard um, but I did come on here to say like a few ways that we can all like cope through this together first of all feel free to use the comment section here to like write something positive or something that you want to achieve this lockdown um because i'm definitely going to be setting myself goals like today i went out and shot loads of photos from my instagram and that was something that i wanted to do and achieve and i probably on a usual day would just go shopping or go out to dinner and like spend the daytime like doing something chill and not not bothering to dedicate the whole of like my morning to well my afternoon to take photos so there is like a lot of benefits to it so feel free to use the comments like write down the benefits of um this lockdown and what we can do to like have fun and support each other also if your mental health is under strain um please do like reach out uh, reach out to friends reach out to your gp reach out to um, there's always the NHS 111 line if um, you're really struggling, always go into a &E. But I think it's really important to take care of your mental health. I would look up like positive um, videos, like maybe by Robert Proctor, he's quite good. I think his name is Robert, Bob Proctor, that's it. He's quite good, there's like loads on, on YouTube. Like once you type in one, it will suggest loads for you. So listening to that, watching your favorite YouTubers, I think always helps. I love watching like my favorite YouTubers in lockdown um, and watching good TV shows, Modern Family, this and that. So yeah, there's feel free again to suggest in the comments like the fun stuff to do, productive stuff to do, resor resources, everything. Like let's use this as like a community to all get through this together um, and just know that you know we're not alone. We're all we're all in the UK going through the same lockdown and we will get through it the same way we got through the last one. And um, I pray for health for all of us. So I'm gonna carry on with my evening, but that is my mini uh, little combo with you guys that I wanted to talk about. 
So I'm about to do my makeup, but my hair's a bit greasy today, so I thought I'd slick it back in a pony. So I'm using the VO5 Wet Look Gel in Extra Hold. I just realized I've gone from like eating to slicking my hair back in a pony, but honestly, I just had a really like chilled evening, spoke to like a lot of my friends, and we just, yeah virtually hung out so there's not much to do these days um but I'm trying to make the most of it you know what i mean and i'm gonna create content for you guys and update you guys on my life and you guys can come to work with me oh my god there's a couple walking outside my window like arm in arm and it's like thanks rub it in why don't you um i heard like loads of people like got into relationships when they announced like the second lockdown because they didn't want to go through it alone and I was like that's kind of I'm not gonna lie that's kind of sad imagine the only reason why you're getting into a relationship is because of a lockdown not because you actually want to be in that relationship with each other um how funny I don't have a mirror here so I'm literally using the reflection of um this photo frame <laughs> I just use this like brush I don't know what kind of brush it is um, but it's so good because it literally like gets all your frizzes down and I like to my bottom of my hair has so much baby hairs and you always see it fall down in my videos so I don't know if I should cut it or if I should like because when I even when I pin it back it falls down so or even when I gel it back it falls down right now it's staying up okay and then I go in with this Cantu gel and I use this toothbrush um, and I like try and clean like these bits up. There, like that. When your hair is greasy, it's so easy to do this. If you have clean hair, oh my god, it is Im possible to do this like your hair just slips through i feel like that looks really neat actually need to get the product out but yeah did any of you guys get like randomly asked out before the start of quarantine like in london or in any country that you're in because I would be like, mm, why weren't you here when lockdown wasn't it around and you could have asked me out on a proper day rather than just chill at your place. Anyway, let me do my makeup and we will continue talking. I need to get that thing, you know, on Zoom. Is it Zoom or is it Teams where they like blur out the background and um, you can't see what's behind them because behind me is like my messy makeup table but oh my god one of my friends put up a story on his instagram of this guy giving a lecture to them in uni yeah like on uni teams and is it teams or i've forgotten what it's called on zoom that's it on zoom and the guys put his background as like the lecture theater <laughs> he's like in the middle of lecture theater and like it was just the most funny hysterical thing because he looked like super like I don't know, like, nerdy, and he's got, like, this fake background, like, headphones, like, you know, like, those gamer, like, vibes, that's exactly what this guy looked like, um, and he had a lecture theatre background giving a lecture to a bunch of medical students, which I thought was hilarious. Also, my eyelashes are starting to look really, like, spidery, scraggly, so I need, I can't take them all out, because, you know, it's only been two weeks, um, and I, if you pull them out, then it pulls out your own eyelashes. I need to find my brush. Um, it pulls out your own eyelashes, so that's not good. The other thing I could do is I could convince Sina, my sister, to try and put in a few for me as they fall out so that it doesn't look too bad because Sina's the kind of girl where, like, she buys, like, all this DIY things to do for herself and then never, ever does it. That is literally, if I could describe, give a description about sign art, that would be it. Like, she buys, like, all these books, DIY stuff, like, do your own, like, shellac. To be honest, we bought the shellac nail kit thing, and that was really good. But, like, she's bought, like, eyelash stuff, nail extension stuff to do herself. And, like, honestly, she's never even opened the box. 
but difficult times, desperate times, desperate measures, I think that she should do my eyelashes so that I don't look like this. My dad is shouting at my mum downstairs, you looking beautiful. <laughs> And he said, but he said in, in Iranian, it's ziba shodi, yeah, which means you look beautiful. And then he goes, ziba, and then my mum goes, what? What do you mean I'm always beautiful? And she goes, and he goes, no, no, no I mean more beautiful. <laughs> so funny. It's funny how, like, it's funny how it doesn't matter what age you get, if you like someone, a compliment always means something. Also, guys, I am not going to be using Shilu's powder because, like I said in the last lockdown, am I a moron to come and use like 40 pounds worth of powder to set my face to sit at home no the answer is no if you guys were going to say yes the answer is actually no i'm not a moron so yes i did use like giorgio armani foundation but that's just because the other ones make my skin break out but everything else i've used is pretty like cheap and cheerful smashbox stick i don't even know where Sina got this from but i like using it recently um elf concealer I like it cheap and cheerful my eyebrows are a top shop pencil that i got for one pound in their closing down sale of like the makeup section and this is a very old shade and light palette so basically in quarantine it's a good time to use up all the makeup that you don't usually use and you've just got lying around in your cupboard because you don't want to use up the nice stuff for gilmore girls and the modern family crew i hate this i hate when your hairline and the bronzer has like a difference between them. I'm doing a little winged liner with this Charlotte Tilbury brown eyeliner. I did that really rough, but it actually didn't come out too bad, I'm not gonna lie. It's quite good. Perfecto. Guys, I went through this phase where I quit pasta, and I think it was because I was going gym a lot, so I was just happy to like. Be more healthy and it wasn't affecting me as much by the way this is pillow talk um and i also like hot chick by charlotte tilbury so yeah i went through this phrase i quit pasta and now since lockdown started i'm going through that phase again where i'm eating junk and not working out but from what i remember from the last lockdown this lasts about a week and a half and then you kind of get sick of yourself and sick of all the food so then you start uh, eating properly so that is the plan but for now i have a ravioli in the fridge downstairs that's waiting for me i love the waitrose goat's cheese raviolis they are the best also i'm using nars orgasm blush i wonder if i like blush <laughs> she says after applying the whole thing and lastly some sephora lip balm and we are good to go so Yes, it's true. I didn't need to do my hair and I didn't need to do my makeup and I didn't need to change into a different hoodie. <laughs> you guys didn't see that bit. But it has made me feel like I've done something and it's kept me occupied and it's kept me occupied for like 20 minutes. So, I think overall that was a win. Um, and now I'm gonna go have some pasta. I just asked my dad to say hi to the vlog and he goes, I'm too hungry to say hi. That's No, true. I'm not hungry. What then? Yeah, it's still I'm hungry, but I'm not, you know, I didn't shave, I have to get the shower. <laughs> dad, they, they see me without makeup anyway, so it's fine. She's already jumping. <laughs> she wants to jump in. You know what? You two have more people calling you than I do. Whose phone is this? Who called you? Sol. <gasps> so you left the vlog to go and talk to Sol? Of yeah, course. Honestly. Oh no. No, no, no. Sorry. No, no, no. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly, God, I do. Ah, did it upon me, cheesy, cheesy. Yeah, I'll be in there. Ah, yeah, okay. she was stamped because of Corona. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what are you making? I'm gonna make a omelette, special. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make. What do you want to make? I was gonna make pasta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I won't make pasta. But I will show you guys the pasta anyway. So these are the pastas that I absolutely love. This one's goat's cheese and caramelized red onion ravioli and it cooks in two minutes. And this one is portobello mushroom ravioli and it cooks in two minutes. 
and these are the sauces that I buy with them. It is the tomato mascarpone by Waitrose and the tomato chili sauce also by Waitrose. So that is what I will have for lunch. But maybe now I'll have some of my dad's omelette. I don't know. You'll see. So I have a delivery from Amazon. And basically, literally the day before lockdown, I think it was, or two days before lockdown, I was at um, my friend's house and a bunch of them were playing this, okay? So they were, three of them were Turkish um, and one of them was Arabic, but they left to play the Turkish friends taught my Arab friend to play this. And I was just watching and I was like, oh my god, I need to learn, I need to buy this game because they wouldn't let us play um, because they thought that we didn't understand the rules and that we'd ruin it and blah blah blah. But it's basically like rummy, but like a Turkish version on like dominoes and it's called rummy, rummy cube, rummy cub, I don't know, it's called, this is what it's called, this is the box. And there was the other version, which um, was the actual one that they had, but it took longer to deliver. So this is the UK's number one family strategy game. So I'm guessing that it exists in the UK as well. But they were telling me that it's like a Turkish game. So I don't know, guys, let me know down in the comments. But basically, it's like rummy, but on dominoes. And it's slightly different. Like, I think I'd have to read some of the rules to get through it. But when I was watching them play, like, I fully, like, was like, I could beat you all. Like, it was really... It's seven plus. It's seven plus. That's so funny because my friends were like literally like going crazy over this and like betting and all of this stuff. So yeah, this is definitely what's going to be keeping me and the family occupied this pandemic. Also, if you guys have any other like, game suggestions for us to buy, we play a lot of card games. My parents love card games. They're so competitive. Um, but any other like board games let me know in the comments and description so i'm going to end this vlog here i hope you guys have enjoyed spending the past few days with me um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up sorry if you can hear my dad cooking in the background <laughs> uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for more work vlogs and family vlogs i love sharing it with you guys and just sharing my whole life with you um and don't forget to subscribe to see more of my uploads and leave us comments and when i say us i mean our whole community because there's like more than 40,000 of us and we all love to have a little scroll through the comments so leave something positive for us all to read and I would absolutely love that. Don't forget to check out my socials, that always linked down below. My Instagram is Persian Bunny, and my snap is Sefi Samurai. Love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!